The origins of this drama in, uh, in Warsaw lie in the conservative nationalist government's uh, attempts to, to push through some laws that would have uh, significantly increased the ruling party's influence over the judicial system. And this uh, provoked uh, a lot of opposition uh, from the government's critics, some of which we've seen on the streets of Warsaw with tens of thousands of people protesting these changes, which they see as a fundamental shift in away from the progress, the very, the very significant progress uh, in the direction of democracy and the rule of law since the overthrow of communism in 1989. President Duda, who uh, vetoed two of the three laws to, that would have changed the judicial system, was influenced in his decision by behind-the-scenes pressure coming from the European Union and the United States, both of which made it very clear they thought these judicial changes were bad news. I think he also uh, wanted to show that as president uh, he's not completely beholden to the ruling party and its, and its leader Yaroslav Kaczynski. I don't think this crisis is diffused uh, completely by any means. Let's have a look at what President Duda did. He, he vetoed the bills but they could easily be revived by the government. The question is, what, in what form would they try to do that? Would they try to recognize this, the, the scale of opposition to the bills, modify them a little bit, but nevertheless try to get them through uh, in such a way that uh, the essence the, of, of, these, of the legislation remained intact? Uh, that's one possibility. Another possibility is that uh, they might seek somehow to override the president's veto by getting a, a three-fifths majority um, in the Polish parliament. Now that isn't easy, then the, the ruling party on its own doesn't have that uh, size of majority, so there, is, there are some uh, concerns that what they might do is try and ambush the opposition in parliament by catching them unawares and, and ramming through an attempt to override the veto when you don't have all the opposition MPs sitting in the chamber. So there are, there are ways that they can deal with this. I, I certainly don't think that the uh, government is going to uh, give up on its attempt to seize some form of control over the judicial system.